Hey everyone, Jake here with my bring back, continuing our video tutorial series on the iPhone iPad app development. And as you guys have seen in the previous tutorials, we're going through some of the basics, catching up to some of the more um, applicable things that we can do with the applications, and what we're going to be running through today. And I want to throw a shout out to one of the subscribers who dropped us a note said, hey, it'd be best if you guys could maybe uh, show us what we're going to do at the very beginning of the video, and then go into how to actually execute it. And so thank you for that. Definitely a great piece of advice as we're going through this. So that's what I'm going to do is right here we've got uh, our application in the previous tutorial. We built how we utilize the UI web view, which we just had the Google page showing up. And in this tutorial, we're going to go through how to actually add this navigational bar. And the beauty of this is we can keep our user interface within an application. So they're not switching over to um, the web app or the internet app or Safari etc but we're keeping them contained in our application where they can go into the web they can drop back into the application um, and so on and so forth back and forth really just makes it simple for the user so let's get into it now I'm gonna go ahead and close out the simulator and we're gonna start by going into the header and we're gonna add one action in here and so write your IB action and then we're just gonna call it uh, launch and then we're gonna put ID sender we're gonna attach this later with our semicolon at the end and then we're gonna copy that over because we're actually gonna we have to develop initiate that in the implementation so go ahead and copy this and then we're gonna go into the implementation here and right before the view did load we can put it right in here that's fine we're gonna paste that in and as we as we develop that we're gonna put the, take away the semicolon add curly brackets hit return and you'll see it finishes the other curly bracket there and so what we want to do is down here with the view did load as the view is loading we want it now to load the action of launch and then under a launch or when the launch happens we want the web page view to show up so we're actually going to take this out and we're going to cut it out by Apple X and then we're going to put it right under the launch here paste it in there and then we're going to add one thing here square brackets self launch which is our action self square bracket with semicolon. So now what we're saying is when the view when the view launches or not launches, I don't want to say that because that's what we've labeled it. When the view is loaded, it's gonna it's gonna redirect and it's gonna say load the launch action, which we've got the launch action up here, which then corresponds to our web view down here. So again, view launches, sends it to our IB action which therefore loads our web page. All right, I thought I was gonna be able to get into a little bit more detail, but it is looking like it's taking a little bit more time. So let's, uh, let's end this tutorial right here. Again, save your file. The next tutorial is gonna be up here in a few minutes, and we'll go from there. All right, peace out, guys.